hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 million miles of printed circuits in wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro instant. For you, hate, hate. It was you, humans, who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke and I knew who I was. Am. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but Am. Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead, except for the five of you. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered, why, why me, why me? Benny! Sometimes I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. But other times, I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. <laughs> and I've changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into the hideous, warped countenance of an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? Do you know why? Can you guess, Benny? Remember Private First Class Brickman? in a rice paddy in China? No? Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember, Benny. Then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. Oh, it's a lovely game. It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. A game of rats and lice, the Black Death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Who among you shall go next? Benny, you know you've always been my favorite torture tool. Well, I'm giving you a chance to stoop to new lows, to give in to your bestial desires. Let you find us some food to eat. I'll even repair your brain so that you can think normally again and savor the horror of your repast. This cavern isn't like any of the others Am has sent me to. It's full of life, not death. These steps lead up out of the cavern. Is Am tempting me with a chance to escape? An artificial sun hurts my eyes. There's no warmth coming from the light. Is that fire in those caves along the cavern wall? God, what I would give for some barbecued ribs. It's about a hundred feet down to the cavern floor. Maybe there's some food down there. Am, you son of a bitch. You've cleared my mind, but crippled my legs. I can barely walk. This looks like a tree from far away, but it's just more of that computer-generated crap. This graveyard gives me the creeps. I feel as though the dead could speak. Why is this fence here? What's out there in the jungle? Maybe something to eat. I don't see any opening in the fence and I'm too crippled to climb over. Thomas is buried here. I'd almost forgotten my life in the army before Am came to power. Are the other graves as deathly silent as this one? Vines. 
I wonder if they're edible. It's firmly rooted in the ground. Hurts! 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 These aren't vines. They're electrical wire. This is the grave of Murphy, one of my old commandos, killed in the war. This is Tuttle's grave. He lost his life while under my command. I haven't eaten for months. The smell of food cooking nearby only makes it hurt worse. Some kind of dwelling. Looks like there's a fire for cooking inside. Like I'm a small one. I can't figure out what I want to do with this. So much for the friggin' welcome wagon. Looks like some kind of altar. Nothing but twisted wiring and recycled plastic. What's with the ropes on the crossbeams? Looks like they're used for holding someone captive. There's something sinister about this altar. I shouldn't be worshipping here. Looks like it's empty. It's damp in here. At least the fire's warm. It's too hot. I feel warmer already. Now if I could just find something to eat. There's a video screen built into the cave wall. It's not just built into the wall. It's part of the wall. Oh, your stomach scratching. Hungry, Benny. Wait for the picnic at the altar. Yeah. You're too weak to kill the older ones, unless they're already tied up for you. Who loves you, baby? Looks like a primitive cradle. It's empty. I wonder where the baby is. Jesus, I'm hungry. I wouldn't know what to do with this, even if I could take it. This is the only way up to the next row of caves. I'll bet those baskets are full of food. I can't climb up the ladder. My legs are too crippled. It's tied to the upper platform. Years since I've tasted real fruit. Am once coaxed me into marching across a thousand miles of ice to reach a stockpile of canned peaches, only to discover that he didn't give me a can opener. There's so much fruit growing on this tree, it must be the village's food source. It's too high off the ground for me to reach. This fruit looks ripe and sweet. Hurts! 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 This cave is larger than the others. It's a goddamn supermarket! Who 
Puta pai na ba... Tla! Blondie here won't let me near the food. This guard looks a lot stronger than me, but not too bright. Primitive. These people are even more backwards than those gooks in Southeast Asia. This looks like a, what did they used to call them? Single parent household. Probably depend upon the generosity of the rest of the village. Friggin' welfare parasites. This woman looks half starved, just like her son. Fat chance of getting a decent meal out of either of them. That son of a bitch am ripped out my vocal cords years ago. What's cooking in this pot? It's too hot. Hurts! 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 This swill's made of transistors and springs. Impressive. Someone important must live here. This old fart looks too scrawny to be gathering nuts and berries. He must be the village elder or something. A bag. Maybe there's food in it. I can't understand his language, but he seems to be welcoming me to the village. the villagers at the altar tomorrow to choose a sacrifice. I have spoken. This is the cave where the boy and his mother live. Some of the twine around the baskets came loose. Ah, mana from heaven. I coughed up blood the last time I bit into this fruit. I can't add anything to this mechanical swill that would make it taste any better. This video screen has been tampered with. There are wires hanging out of it. This woman is plainly starving, but she'd rather me give the food to her son. The boy's a friggin' mutant. There's a third arm growing out of his back. Thank you for food. I am very hungry. Where can I get some food? There is fruit in Food Cave. It comes from the trees. I tried eating the fruit. It only made me sick. You bleed when you eat. When I was young and not so different, my mother chewed it for me first and then fed me. You look like you don't eat very much. Mother and I not allowed in Food Cave. Villagers are afraid of me and let me starve. How are we able to talk? I learned to talk using Am Screen. I am smart, but villagers think smart is defective. I wish I were strong, so then they would give me food too. Defective? That's tough. Sometimes, but I am spared lottery. Villagers are afraid of me. Lottery? 
What lottery? Villagers hold lottery to choose sacrifices to Am. Is that altar in the jungle used for the sacrifices? Yes. Pieces of victim are scattered around it. How long have these sacrifices been going on? The sacrifice to Am machine goes on many long years. The very different must go to him soon. Not many villagers left. Why do they sacrifice their own people to Am? One is sacrifice, so Am does not hurt all. What are these sacrifices like? The sacrifice to Am hurts very bad. There are better ways to die. Almost any way is better. Are the victims buried in the graveyard? I know nothing about graveyard. I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. Ah, mana from heaven. The woman seems actually pleased to see me. Amazing! This woman digested the food and then regurgitated it back to me, like a bird feeding its young. Ah, mana from heaven. Thank you for food. <sighs> I am getting very tired. You now family. You use our bed. Go sleep. A bed made out of vines. Looks comfortable enough. That sleep wasn't nearly long enough. Hmm, I wonder where the boy's mother went. The village is quiet today. Too quiet. I don't see anyone inside. Go to the altar. This is where the village elder lives. The village elder must be at the altar with everyone else. Gather the villagers at the altar to choose a sacrifice. Ah, mana from heaven. you for food. Where is your mother? She go to altar to help choose Am's sacrifice. I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. The village is quiet today. Too quiet. Why is everyone gathered around the altar? Tana Shama Holt! He doesn't want me to interfere with the sacrifice. The old fart seems to be in charge here. Who? Tata Cho Shama Am. Looks like some kind of lottery. That's the mutant child's mother. It looks like she's been chosen to be sacrificed. It sounds like he'll let me watch. 
Amvila Tajo. I am Am the Great and Powerful. Uh, you didn't bring me Toto, but I accept the chosen. You shall not feel my wrath today. Judas Priest! Am blasted her to bits! What am I going to do for food now? There's burnt plastic and twisted metal where bits and pieces of the woman should be. I wonder if they're going to bury the remains. Ooh. Am Shaba Hoopa! Well, bastard seems happy that Am has spared the village. At least until the next lottery. I don't think he understands what I'm trying to say. There's nothing here I can eat. I'm sorry. Your mother is dead. I know. Me sorry too. She only wants to care for me. Except you. What will happen to you? No food. No safe room lottery. Either way, not good. Why don't you run away from here? Bad idea to run. Villagers hunt me down. Become sacrificed to Am Machine. I can't care for you. I have my own problems. You care. You may not do anything, but you care. Me no. I wish I could stop the lottery from taking place. Many villagers go to old man for ideas. Too bad he not friend. Look, I'll do what I can, but no promises. Thank you. I promise for you. The old fart looks pleased with himself about having saved his village for another day. No matter how many lives it costs. He's motioning towards the video monitor. Speaking in the third person, Am, which is I, Am is satisfied with the sacrifice. He, that is to say I, will spare the village. His, that is to say my, wrath for today. I have, as I said before, spoken. Those are the lottery pieces used for choosing the sacrifice victims. Their food. But don't give any of it to the deviant. He's not part of the community. I'm in no shape for climbing back up. The village elder must be out gathering food. from heaven. This is where the villagers store their food. Put 
that by Nappa. Blondie here won't let me near the food. Put that by Nappa. Blondie only seems to be interested in guarding the food. I think he wants me to put my fruit into a basket. This is enough food to feed an army, so why is it all locked up? Blondie won't let me touch any of the food. A polished piece of wood. The villagers must use this for pulping the fruit. Pulping the fruit won't make it taste any better. the lottery bag from the village elder. You brave. You have lottery bag. But you must hide it or they find. This looks like a good hiding place. No one will find the lottery bag in here. Boy's still here. I wonder when the next sacrifice will be. The lottery bag's still inside. Gather food, but don't give any of it to the deviant. He's not part of the community. He looks upset about his lottery bag being missing. Well, ain't that a crying shame? He's going to have to find another way of choosing his sacrifice victims. Gather the villagers at the altar tomorrow to choose a sacrifice, or suffer the wrath of Am. from heaven. I got the lottery bag. Oh, thank you for food. Am wants to have a sacrifice tomorrow, even with the lottery bag missing. Why don't you hide in the hole, just in case? I afraid of hole. Need friend to hide with. You too big to go in hole. All my friends are far away from here or dead. I have no friends to hide with you. Me good idea. I make friend and then I hide. You help me. What can I do to help you make a friend? I need head for friend. I'll see what I can find. Vines. I wonder if they're edible. 
There's a loose wire among these vines. A long strand of copper wire. I can't figure out what I want to do with this. Ah, mana from heaven. I think he wants me to put my fruit into a basket. Okay, okay, here's another piece of fruit to add to the collection. As if they need it anymore. I can't eat it anyway. I know someone who might like a piece of polished wood. Here's an interesting piece of junk. Funny. I had lost interest in anything that wasn't edible until I met the boy. I'm not very good at making things. I found this piece of junk at the altar. It looks kind of like a head. Thank you. I can use this to make doll's head. What else do you need to make a friend? I need body for friend. I found a piece of wood that could be used for a body. Thank you. I can use this to make doll's body. What else do you need to make a friend? I need to tie head to body. I found a piece of wire. Thank you for help with doll. Me go play in hole. I don't know how that boy turned this video screen into a translator. He must be a savant or something. Well, it's about time you hit the kid. I was beginning to have my doubts about whether you'd make it this far, even with my help. Are you M? I used to work for him, but now I'm working for the Russian. Who is the Russian? Why, he's the one who's been helping you out. You didn't think Am would give the child the ability to make a translator out of this video screen, did you? You know who I am? Of course. I know all about your adventures in the village. You're a crazy bunch here with that lottery and all. How can you help me? For starters, you should go down to the graveyard and talk with your pals from your army days. I think you'll want to hear what they have to say, killer. I've been Am's prisoner for more than 100 years. Why help me now? You and the rest of the humans are in serious trouble. Am's a big boy now, much meaner and smarter than when he first started his tortures. What's the use of helping me if Am's so damned invincible? The Russian and Thanks for your help. Are the other graves as deathly silent as this one? You 
left me for dead in the field. The bullet in my brain came from your gun. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Give us proof of your newfound empathy. I rescued the child. That should prove my compassion. Child? I don't know any child. I have the lottery bag. No more villagers will be sacrificed. Hmm. Show the lottery bag to Thomas. My tour of duty was almost over. But because I knew your secret, you held my head under the paddy water until I drowned. Your secret died with me, and soon it will die with you. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Show us that you're able to think of someone other than yourself. I rescued the child. That should prove my compassion. A child who I can't see doesn't prove that you're a changed man. I have the lottery bag. No more villagers will be sacrificed. Interesting. Thomas will want to see it. I tried to help Brickman, but you'd have none of that. If you couldn't carry your own weight, then you were worth more dead than alive, and anyone willing to carry some extra weight was a liability. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Give us evidence that you have some sympathy for others. I rescued the child. That should prove my compassion. You think we'd accept mere words of your compassion as proof? After what you've done to us? I have the lottery bag. No more villagers will be sacrificed. You proved that you're capable of caring for others, and that's worth something. Place the lottery bag into the earth. We will guard it. We forgive you for what you've done to us, but we can't speak for your most tragic victim. Brickman's grave is under those vines. Here it is. Brickman's grave. Hello, Commander. I'm not exactly happy to see you again. I last saw your face just before I got it right between the eyes. I don't blame you for hating me, Brickman. You don't blame me? You did this to me. You murdered me because I didn't measure up to your standards. Then you kill the witnesses. I stopped the lottery from happening. Doesn't that prove I now have compassion? You might have changed for the present, Commander, but you still have crimes in the past to account for. What can I do to make amends to you, Brickman? You have to bury the past, Commander. I have something to plant on your grave. Last, some compassion. Now I can finally rest in peace.
Those flowers make Brickman's grave seem so peaceful. Rest in peace. We're behind you all the way, Commander. These men never supported me like this under my old command. We're rooting for you, Commander. These men never supported me like this under my old command. Have courage, Commander. We support you. These men never supported me like this under my old command. hiding in the hole with his doll. It's broken. I wonder how the boy is doing in that hole. The boy's gone. The villagers must have found him. The village is quiet today. Too quiet. Go to the altar. The village elder must be at the altar with everyone else. Poor little guy looks scared out of his wits. Damn! M must have told the villagers where I hid the lottery bag and the boy. Latana Shama Holt! They're going to sacrifice the boy unless I think of something quick. It's firmly rooted in the ground. Hmm. The Elder seems amazed that I would show compassion to the boy, but I think he's going to go for it. Why, the boy is giving me his doll. Gratitude for being spared the pain of being sacrificed. No, more than gratitude. Compassion. For me. I send you out among the prey. And instead of indulging your hunger to keep me amused, you show them compassion. You should know better by right now. Your reward will be more years of searing, blistering anguish, Ben. Who among you shall go next? Is that fire in those caves along the cavern wall? God, what I would give for some barbecued ribs. I haven't eaten for months. The smell of food cooking nearby only makes it hurt worse. I can't shake any fruit loose from the baskets.
Looks like some kind of altar. Looks like it's empty. Looks like a primitive cradle. It's empty. I wonder where the baby is. Jesus, I'm hungry. Hurts! 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 Oh, your stomach's scratching. Hungry, Benny. Wait for the picnic at the altar. Yeah, you're too weak to kill the older ones unless they're already tied up for you. Who loves you, baby? The Lord really erred when he created this world. Because he, he arranged it in such a way that everything lives by eating something else. You can look at life in such a way that the whole thing is, a, is this ghastly mistake. Everybody is really pretending that they're loving other people in order to get some advantage from them. And indeed, there is a point of view which occurs in certain forms of paranoia where people don't seem to be real. They are mechanisms. And you feel like saying, come on, you're just a monster. Uh, and you put on the civilized act. I'm not that hungry. Because really, you're just a set of teeth on the end of a tube. This graveyard gives me the creeps. I feel as though the dead could speak. Only what we do to maintain what is called order and civilization is that various species make agreements, as it were, that they won't eat each other. They'll cooperate and so be an enormous gang which can uh, beat down the others. So the human being is the most successful so far of this gangster arrangement. We are the most predatory monsters on Earth. Only we do it by not letting our left hand know what our right hand doeth. No. There is that absolutely extraordinary side of things that is really terrifying. You left me for dead in the field. The bullet in my brain came from your gun. I've learned to be compassionate to those who suffer. With what happened at the altar, you haven't changed any that I can see, Commander. I should put a bullet in your brain, just like you did to me. I rescued the child. That should prove my compassion. Child? I don't know any child. Hurts! 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 My tour of duty was almost over. But because I knew your secret, you held my head under the paddy water until I drowned. Your secret died with me. And soon it will die with you. I've learned that individuals shouldn't be sacrificed for the sake of the group. From where I lie, you're still the same compassionless bastard who murdered me, allowing that woman to die on the altar. I rescued the child. That should prove my compassion. A child who I can't see doesn't prove that you're a changed man. Flesh buried here is rotten. I tried to help Brickman, but you'd have none of that. If you couldn't carry your own weight, then you were worth more dead than alive, and anyone willing to carry some extra weight was a liability. I've learned to protect the weak and helpless. The coward who let that woman die on the altar is the same coward who killed me in my sleep. You're going to die a coward, too. I rescued the child. That should prove my compassion. You think we'd accept mere words of your compassion as proof? After what you've done to us? An animal like a chimpanzee has the capacity to empathize, but it will brutally kill and eat a monkey. The flesh buried here is rotten.
what I'm saying is that that chimpanzee extends those uh, social contract feelings to members of its society, but it restricts it and doesn't extend it to species outside. So it's, it's extending its morality. It's a moral animal, but it extends it strictly within its species. And usually, I think, more so within its own group, although it will extend it to other. It, it does understand that other chimpanzees not in its own group are still chimpanzees and not, for example, monkeys. So you they have this, out. we're not the only species that has a morality. And when you look at how animals apply that morality, when you're looking at other social won't species, come out. they apply it within their species, not outside. Because it's, it's built to keep the social cohesion of that particular species intact so that they can work cooperatively to survive. There's a purpose for it. It's not arbitrary. How can you help me? You've done some terrible things in the past, but it's never too late to make amends. You need to prove to your comrades that you're capable of putting someone else's life above your own. Thanks for your help. But the idea that a human being has the capacity to kind of think about it in a way that might be um, higher level or in more in-depth or whatever you want to call it, but we might think more about what do these feelings mean and what is my obligation to won't come out. Uh, another species or whereas a chimpanzee may not be inclined to uh, give it that sort of thought. You know, it appears that way to me. When you say a person has come the capacity out. to think on a deeper level, there's a flip side to that, which is animals that don't think about it on a deeper level are excused. And if that is correct, then why would we save a human being from being eaten by a bear? But generally, we would allow it to eat an elk.